In order to serve the American people more effectively, the U.S. government has several ways to learn the perspectives of its citizens. One of those ways is through the creation of federal advisory committees. If you're asked to become a member of one of these committees, you'll need to know the government ethics rules. To help you, in this video, we'll share the most important ethics rules you need to know as a member of a federal advisory committee. First, let's talk about the three categories of federal advisory committee members. One, regular government employees. Two, special government employees or SGEs. And three, representatives. Regular government employees are full-time federal employees who are designated to serve on advisory committees. Special government employees, or SGEs, are private citizens who are appointed to an advisory committee to share their expertise and judgment in specific subject areas. SGEs are considered intermittent or part-time federal employees, and as such, the federal ethics rules apply to them, with certain limitations, and this is true whether or not they're paid by the government. By law, SGEs can only serve for a limited time each year and cannot serve more than 130 days in any 365-day period. Representatives serve on advisory committees to represent the views and perspectives of specific interest groups, such as industry associations, Native American tribes, food producers, consumers, labor unions, or the public at large. They may also make policy recommendations to the government. Because the role of representatives is to present their group's viewpoints, they're not deemed to be employees of the government and are generally not covered by the ethics conflict of interest laws. One exception would be when representatives are asked to participate on a committee matter that provides funding or gives contracts to their family members or companies that they own. In cases like these, representatives should first consult with their committee's chair, designated federal officer, or agency ethics official. If you're asked to serve on an advisory committee as a special government employee, there are two mandatory ethics requirements you must comply with. First, you'll have to complete and file a Confidential Financial Disclosure Report, also called the OGE 450 Report, as soon as you're appointed, and specifically before your first advisory committee meeting and before you provide advice to the agency. This legal requirement means that you'll need to submit your completed OGE 450 report very early in the process. This will give agency ethics officials the opportunity to review your report to ensure that you don't have a financial interest that might pose a conflict with matters that will be discussed as part of the committee's work. Fortunately, the USDA Office of Ethics is available to answer questions from all SGEs serving on USDA advisory committees. Other federal agencies will have their own ethics advisors assisting their agency's SGEs. You are always encouraged to reach out to your agency's ethics officials to answer any questions you may have. Second, you'll need to attend an ethics training session at your initial advisory committee meeting to make sure you're aware of the ethics and conflict of interest rules that apply to you as an SGE and you'll need to keep your knowledge fresh, attending ethics training every calendar year that you serve on the committee. At USDA, these ethics trainings are provided by a member of the USDA Office of Ethics. The ethics rules are a necessary safeguard to ensure that the important work and recommendations made by federal advisory committees are free from impermissible conflicts of interest and to maintain the trust of the American people in the important work of the committee. And so, whether you serve as a regular government employee, a special government employee, or a representative, you're always encouraged to reach out to your committee chair, your designated federal official, or your agency's ethics officers to ask any questions or to discuss your specific situation. Additionally, committee chairs and designated federal officials should immediately contact ethics officials when they're faced with ethics questions. We're the USDA Office of Ethics, and we're here to help.